Hi, this is Shovel from A Bucket and a Shovel, and today we're going to do a little test. We're going to check the soil in your garden. This is my area that I'm getting ready to plant a garden in, and you're going to need three tools. Right now, I'm going to have a quart jar. It's got about three quarters full of just regular tap water, house water, and of course a lid, and then a little shovel, scooper shovel. You can use a spoon, whatever you want. And I'm going to go around to five different locations in my garden and get a little bit of dirt. So we'll pick one here and just get a little bit, go down a couple inches, and uh, that's enough. And then we'll just stick that in there. Clump, clump. We'll go to another one. There's another one. And uh, go down in here, get a little bit. I want that big old rock people who lived here before put rock all over the top of everything because they had a couple of huge dogs, so we have to deal with that. Here's a third. Let's get down in here. There's some nice dark soil. Let's get a chunk of this. I've been working in this some, so some of this is already turned up. And this is the fifth one. We should have three layers when we're done. A silt layer, a clay layer, and a sand layer. Okay, so there's your five layers, five scoops. Right. And then we're gonna put the lid on. Like I said, nothing's been out here but the green belt, so when they built these homes, all they did was cut down the trees and uh, build homes. So it's going to be interesting to see how this garden's going to grow this year. One thing real quick before we go inside and finish up is I need to go ahead and shake this. Um, let's do it outside so in case it uh, leaks, it doesn't go all over your house. Um, just kind of mix it up and because uh, we're going to let it settle and that's how we're going to be able to determine the percentages of what we have in our garden. Okay, that looks good. Nice and mucky. All right, now we'll go inside. Well, I want to let you know that this test is definitely not 100% positive. It is just a cute little test that you can do to give yourself a very, very rough idea of what your soil is like. If you want an absolute positive 100% facts, you'll need to contact a professional and have them take care of it for you or buy one of those kits that you can get. But like I said, this is just fun. It's kind of let you know a really roundabout idea of what you've got to work with. Um, let's get that part done. So, um, okay. So what we've done is we've let this set for a good 24 hours and you want to put your ruler up next to here and you'll see that we've got like four different really distinct layers. We've got the organic matter that sits at the top because it's the lightest of the layers. And then you've got your clay layer, your silt layer, and then your sand and stone layer. When you go to measure these, I'm going to do this just in rough numbers. We're going to say that this is about three. So what we'll have here then is a quarter of an inch of clay. You'll have about three quarters of an inch of silt and about two inches of the sand and stone uh, layer or band. Well, you know, kind of got stuck there, huh? So um, anyway, um, what this goes to tell me is that basically our, our uh, garden area sucks. Um, what is ideal is if you have 20% clay, 40% silt, and 40% sand. Ours is 0 0.083 clay, 25% silt, and 60, 667% sand. Um, the problem with this is, is that uh, not having enough clay, um, it's going to, we need to add more compost uh, like kitchen scraps and strawy stable manure and good grade of peat moss. Um, the, we've got to get more organic matter into our clay so that the crops will be able to, to grow better. 
the silt being 25% where it needs to be 40 and once again the the silt is such a little uh, flowery feeling when it's dry and it's really slippery feeling when it's wet it's actually it can it's so light weight and times it can be blown away by the by the wind and carried away um, it's not nearly enough either the uh, the sand it's so high that our water is going to go straight down through so we're not going to be able to water our, our plants they're not going to be able to Get enough moisture to be able to allow them to grow properly because it's going to go all the way through so um the problem with this is we've got uh, a couple choices one we can dig out the whole area where i'm going to be doing the garden and fill it all in with our choice of mixture of, of different products we can build above ground beds um or we can just go with what we have and add to it year after year after year until we can get what we're going to have. I'm not quite sure yet the combination that we're going to do, but um, we'll figure that one out as soon as we, we get there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send off a sample to the professionals and let them uh, tell me exactly where I stand and then we'll go from there. I started this uh, little experiment on the dirt sample, soil sample, back on the 15th of February. It is um, February 21st now, and I just wanted to show you that some people have mentioned that they keep their soil sample for like up to a week before they do their test results. And so that makes this one right at six days old. And if you'll notice, my clay is still right here between the clay and the silt layer still right looks like it's still right there the sand layer is still right here um, it doesn't really look like much different has changed except the organic matter has cleared up so it's not as cloudy and and as dirty as it was but let me see if I can take these off it might make a little difference in how we see let me set you down here just a second going to fall off the little small. I don't know if it'll hold you or not for a second, but um, I was curious, so I just left this sitting here just to see if waiting days and days and days makes a big difference, but no, see, here's your little layer right there. Might be just a teeny, teeny fraction, just a little smidgen, but here's the sand and and uh, stone is down here. You still have the silt layer. You still have the clay and the organic matter. So I would say for me anyway, for our home, for our dirt out here, the soil sample is pretty much the same. Um, it's going to need a lot of work to bring it up to uh, to be a perfect garden area. But you know, that's part of the, what the joy of gardening is, is working with your soil taking something that may not be perfect and uh, making it into something that um, you can be proud of. So um, I'm going to get this one finished, this little video, and put it up on the internet. And I uh, want to thank you for following along. Please consider subbing or commenting. And uh, you have a great day, everyone.